to episode two of season one with Stains and the Diffuse Challenge using the plug and play tactic. In my last video, you got to meet the squad, the, the team. We were trying to look to build. We were nowhere near where we should be. And we were defeated on our first day of the season against Dartford away. Since then, it's been quite a remarkable turnaround. As you can see, um, we suffered again away at Hereford. Hereford are a decent side also. But now we're unbeaten in six games. Um, beating Chelmsford 5-2. We drew it away at Braintree, which wasn't too bad. We had some injuries for that game. But as you can see, since then, we've, we've won four on the spin. Our next games are Hampton and Richmond at home and Ashford United away. These are the next two games that will feature on this episode. Hampton and Richmond is a local derby, um, as you can see. Um, it's derby day. It doesn't get much bigger than this. Um, the clubs are literally just sort of miles apart. But let's have a look at the squad. Um, the squad is beginning to grow. Um, and I have to say, let's look at some, some transfers. I've brought more transfers in, more players in. So since you last saw me, um, Chris Session has come in as cover at Wimback. Um, he's only two star ability and potential. His physicals are good, he can cross the ball. Stamina's 10. Passing's only 5, but his teamwork and his flair is quite important. So he's come in, he's been playing, and he's got 6.99 rating from 7 appearances. And he's got 2 assists, so I'm quite happy with him. Um, Carl Miller Neve has come in exactly the same reason as cover on the left hand side. Um, he's made four appearances, three as a substitute. He's got one assist, 6.88 rating. Um, his physicals are okay, his strength's not very good, but he can cross the ball. He's passing seven. Decisions determination's good, so I brought him in. Um, Lee Barnard, a bit of experience up front. He's playing as the advanced forward on the right hand side. Um, he's been doing really, really well since he's come in. He's on £400 a week. Um, he originally wanted 550 but I got him down. Um, physicals are not great, but it's his experience and his ability. He's three and a half star ability, three and a half star potential. He's played six games, he's got two goals, and he's on 7.10 rating, which is good. And finally, Charles Claydon has come in on loan, another poacher. Um, he's on loan from Lake Norwin. It's not costing me a penny. He's two and a half star ability with five star potential. It's his pace, acceleration, composure is only seven, but his finishing and first touch is 11. Um, he's made one non competitive appearance for my under 23s and scored two with an 8.8 .8 rating. So he's pushing for a first team start. So, yeah, so as you can see, we've been playing really, really well. Um, Hampton and Richmond is a massive game. If we now look at the league table, I've Back up to fourth, or well, I say back up, I've shot up to fourth, I should say 16 points. We're six points behind Billericke who are beginning to run away with things. So Hampton and Richmond today, they're down in 13th, so we expect to win. I do not wish to discuss rotation policy. And once again, if you're just watching this, these videos for the first time, I'm using a plug and play tactic. Check out the episode one and you'll see the detail of the tactic and you'll find the link in the description to the tactic. Um, I'm not going to make any changes after the last game. As you can see Sam Hatton who is an influential midfielder is injured. Mitchell Goff is injured and Charles Clayton the poacher is also injured. Um, so we're going to go with Granger in goal, Keane, Quarter and Ford. Unfortunately Jamie Smith's had to take a bit of a bit of a uh, back seat for the time being. Again his passing was, wasn't great. Um, Warsfield on the left hand side, Sessignon on the right as our wing backs. Our ball winning midfielder is Brown with Miller Rodney playing as the box to box with Buchanan, Hippolyte up front and Barnard. Uh, Smith, Fanel, Miller Neve, Webb and Hamilton are all on the bench. Let's see if we can keep our run going. Big game, this is Derby Day. And here we go. How much of a boost to the opposition players? Chances of winning. Um, I just want to focus on what we're doing. It's Derby Day, how much do you look forward to it? Always look forward to this one. Well, here we go, let's just see what happens. So we start the day in fourth. Could do with a big, big win here. Okay, goal kick. One thing I've noticed in the last couple of weeks is that we're winning a lot of balls in midfield. Our two midfielders are beginning to get a lot of space to play. Um, and I've, I haven't shown you yet, I forgot to mention it, but 
Buchanan up front, the man on £525 a week, is basically on a goal a game. As Samoa's through, dealt with, well done Granger, he's made his save. Not a good confidence start, but now we're beginning to get our shots away. Keane with the corner. So this is really strange, this is what I'm saying. I've, I've had a look at the, the, the forum about the, the particular tactic, and I'm not making any changes to the set pieces, but for some reason my centre-half is taking them, or one of them, so I'm not going to complain. Okay, we're beginning to dominate now with 54% possession. We were up to 60 at one point. We've got three shots away already in 10 minutes. Four shots now with one on target compared to Hampton's only one. They've been in good form lately, Hampton. They've picked up a couple of wins. Here we go. See, Brown wins the ball high. Hippolyte to Buchanan. Buchanan, can he get to the byline? No. Walsfield to Brown. Brown squares it to Miller Rodney. He's hit the post. Thought he was going to play it into the forward then, but he didn't. So that's five shots after 17 minutes. But again, watch the foul count. The foul count is beginning to creep up. Billy Ricky are losing at home, are losing away to Dartford, which is good. Which means if we can try and pick up a win, we'll close the gap. 56%, 57%, five shots now. Doing okay. Barnard's not really having a good first half. Sesson Young's figures are not great, but again, as you saw from his stats, he's just there to just do a job. Okay, Ford picks the ball up deep, what can he do? Long ball up to Barnard, can he do anything with it? No, comes to Sesson Young. Miller Rodney to Brown. Look at the space these guys are in. They've got so much space in midfield. Hippolyte, can he do anything? Oh, it's gone in! Freak goal from Warsfield. Absolute freak goal, that's 1-0. We'll take any sort of a goal. Look at the space Brown has got. He's got so much space and time. Warsfield just hoofs it in, in the, the back of the net. I don't know what the goalkeeper was trying to do there. But we'll take that, so it's 1-0. 10 minutes before half time. 69% of our passes, 60% of our tackles and 56% of our headers. With this tactic, we're picking up a lot of the balls. And there's a second, that's Barnard. Great ball again from Warsfield over the top. Barnard beats his defender. So we lose the ball, Warfield, ball over the top to Barnard, first time, half volley, that's 2-0, it's a great finish. Okay, this is good so far, so 7 shots, 3 on target, 59%, we're all over Hampton and Richmond by the looks of it, and our player stats are beginning to pick up. Sessegnon again is not great. Can we defend the cross? Yes we can, we can do it, it's... it's we're doing alright with those. Okay, we're up to 10 shots in this particular game. First half, which is good. Five on target, 50%. Okay, it's good half. Good half so far. I'm going to leave it to the assistant manager as I normally do. We've created one clear cut chance and three half chances so far, so it's good. Hippolyte's not doing great. 6.5 rating so far, and Buchanan's on a 6.6. I've only got Hamilton on the bench. I might bring him on in a couple of minutes' time. We're up to 13 shots now with seven on target. Can we get a third? Just over from Keane. Okay, I need to make a substitution. Warsfield seems to have picked up a knock. Okay, so Miller Neve will come on for Warsfield. Again, he's, he's not great, but he's there to do a job like Sessignon. Um, I'm going to bring on Hip. Hamilton for Hippolyte also. It's only 57 minutes in, but I just want to make these changes just to keep things going. We're up to 14 shots. Can we get a third to kill this game? Brown out, edge of the box to Buchanan. Yes, he can. There's Buchanan again. That's a great finish. It is amazing as to how much space Brown picks. Pick, picks? How much space? Sorry about that. How much Brown... It is amazing as to how much space he picks up. I'm trying to get myself together here. Sorry about this. It's, I'm getting too excited. I'm getting carried away. 65 minutes in. 16 shots now. 8 on target. We're doing really, really well here. 3-0 up in a, in a big, big derby game. It's good for the confidence. Hopefully it moves into second or third in the league. Okay, can we defend the corner? Keep a clean sheet if we can. No. 
He was unlucky there. Effort hits the post, rebounds inside, virtually on the goal line. Yeah, the goalkeeper was nowhere. For some reason he's wearing a really snazzy like, kit. I don't know why he's wearing pink out of all the colours, but needs must, I guess. Okay, so 3 1. Billericay making a comeback against Dartford. 19 shots, 9 on target, 56% possession. I'm not going to make any further changes, I'm going to leave it as it is. 21 shots, 9 on target. This is good. This is a good performance, another good win. This, this takes us to 7. 7 unbeaten now. Excellent performance. It's a great win. Fantastic result. Let's hope we can carry that on into the next game. Just before we play our next game, this is this is a common theme that I'm picking up in uh, in this year's football manager. As you can see, Joshua Webb has expressed his frustrations that he's not playing, um, he's not playing as much as as he feels that he should. He played 34 games last season with a 6.5 rating. Um, at the moment, for me, well, I say at the moment, I've just released him, but uh, he was never going to be a first team a regular straight away because obviously I've got other players in his position. Um, he then demanded first team football so basically I'm not having that at all so he's gone so what I tend to do now just to show you a little bit of uh, of my thought process is I'll go to my director of football now and I'm going to ask him to suggest free transfer signings for a central midfielder which he's given me three and also for potential loan signings as a midfielder just to see what he comes up with and then what I'm going to do, I'm already scouting one of them by the looks of it. Um, highlight all of those, get a scout report for all of them and then look for someone that can come in and, and replace him in the squad. Um, it's just something I just wanted to show you, um, it's a common theme. But that's pretty much what I've been doing all season as far as transfers go. Um, I just wanted to share that with you. So the second game of this episode, we take on Ashford United in the FA qualifying rounds. They're from the Isthmian League, 1st Division South. Um, we're at home, we're 1-10 to 10 on to win this particular game. Um, I'm going to look to make some changes to the team just to bring players in and give some players a go. So Tommy Brewer is going to come in for Cessignon. Um He can do a job there as a, as a wing-back. Jake Lee is going to come in for Barnard. Uh, Hamilton will swap with Hippolyte. I'm going to keep Buchanan in. Look at Buchanan's form. He's on £525 a week, freestyle ability and potential. He's got 10 goals from 9 games, 5 of those are penalties, and he's on a 7.52 rating, so he's doing well so far. Um, can I make any other changes? I need to add these players in as substitutes who are fit. So I can't even make a full quota on the bench. Um, Jamie Smith, I'm going to bring him in and play for Jordan Keane, but I'm just going to move him into the middle, and I'll give Funnel a game in goal, just to rotate the squad. Milaneve, you can start in place of Warsfield. Yeah, so we've pretty much rotated all the first team. One, two, three, yeah, six first team players we've rotated. That's fine. Let's just see how we go. This is a game we'll be expected to win. Okay, here we go. Now, I think I've promised the board that we're looking for the fourth qualifying round as the minimum. We're looking to start this game well. Create chances as early as possible. Go okay, have a corner, Miller Rodney takes it over the bar. Okay, two shots currently. As we sort of find our way into the game. Six changes to the team, so we need to just be a little bit patient. It'll begin to kick in. Okay, position wise we're up to 50%, 51. Three, that's our first shot on target after 25 minutes. Miller Rodney's now got free kick. And that's gone to absolutely nobody. I don't know why he's passed it out there. Okay, Smith at the back to Brewer, the wing back, inside to Brown, Hamilton, no, can't do anything. Call to and loads of space and time. What's he gonna do with the ball? Miller Neve, can he get his cross in? Yes he can. And there's the goal. Hamilton 
head down by Lee. Hamilton gets onto the end of the knockdown. Scores past the keeper, that's one. So quarter with the ball up to Milaneve. Gets his cross in. Oh, I think the defenders tried to head it clear. It's hit the back of Lee's head and fell for Hamilton. So we'll take that. That's no problem. Okay, the shots are now beginning to pick up in the game. Five with two on target, 53% possession. What we're going to do here, can we create another? Brown with space, he's hit the post. Okay, Ford picks the ball up wide. Nothing's coming to that. We can try and get second before half time. Quarter. Rodney with loads of space again. Hamilton to Lee. What can Lee do? Into Buchanan. Hits the post off the back of the goalkeeper. And he makes it 2 0. Let's see if we can change these to behind the goal. That's better. Yeah, so Lee into Buchanan. Has his shot. Hits the post. Hits the goalkeeper. 2 0. Buchanan continues his scoring streak. Okay, they've got a free kick. Can we get rid of it? Forward into Buchanan. Can we? Breaks on. Hamilton's free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? Yes, he can. That's 3 0. Game over. Excellent, excellent counter attack. Forward into Buchanan. Plays the ball over the top to Hamilton. He races clear. He's even got Webb, well, I can't think of that, he's been alongside him. The other attacking forward, advance forward, I should say. 3 0. Clean sheet here would be nice, but again, ball over the top. Can we deal with the ball over the top? Yes, we can. Coulter makes a good tackle, squares it to Ford, whose mistake has cost us. First touch was awful there by the looks of things. We're in no danger. It's a bit sloppy at the back. He wins his tackle, plays it square to Ford, whose first touch is awful, and they capitalise easily. It's a bad mistake. It's a good job we're three one up. Okay, we'll get through to half time. Fifty five percent possession, eight shots, three on target. One yellow card so far for Brown. Okay, it's good. Half time, three one. They seem Hamilton seems confused and demotivated. Because my assistant manager says anything we say now will just overcomplicate things. So he's told them he doesn't think anything needs to be said. You all know what to do, and apparently my poacher seems confused and demotivated. Work that out. It's pretty obvious. We're three one up, he's already scored. I don't know what he's confused about. Okay, second half, let's see if we can get a couple more goals. We do not want to concede anymore. Brewer's on a 6.5, but again, he's, he's not quality as a, as, a, as a right wing back. Oh, he's pushed himself up. 6.6, .6, he's beginning to, to pick up a little bit. Okay, nine shots. Only the one shot so far this half. Ten shots. I'm debating whether or not to make changes to the team. These six players have come in that don't normally start the games. Hamilton, off the goalkeeper, off the post. Is it the post or the crossbar? Goalkeeper was lucky there. We're not going to see a replay. 11 shots, not too bad. Players' fitness is not bad. I'm actually not going to make any changes at all. I'm going to leave the six players that were rotated not playing so they get a bit of a rest. Okay, we've won the ball again in midfield. Hamilton to Lee. What can Lee do with his cross? Buchanan. Corner. Saved by the goalkeeper. Here we go, my centre half. Quarter is taking the corners. Don't know why. Brewer. Doesn't do anything with that. So Buchanan, can he pick it up and create something? Hoof it into the box. Will he pick it up again? Should play the ball square, hopefully, yeah, to Brewer. Plenty of space for Brewer. Cross comes to nothing, it's not too bad. Our players do seem to find pockets of space on the pitch, I have to say. I featured it in the last game with Brown in the midfield. Um, it's something that, that I've beginning, that I've noticed in these last few games, and, and 
that's where we tend to create our, a lot of uh, of our possession, a lot of our chances from, and that's another goal, an own goal that takes us to four one. We've had four clear cut chances in this game. Corner comes in, Hamilton shot off the defender, unfortunately for him, into the back of the net. Hamilton's done well since he's come in today on rotate on rotation. He's got eight point eight rating so far. 15 shots, 5, only 5 on target, but we've got 4 goals from it, which I'm not going to complain. A couple more bookings, as you can see the foul count is quite high, 16. That should be it. Again, another common theme is the goalkeeper will play the ball out to the centre halves who split wide. I've, never, I've not seen the goalkeeper kick a long ball up, up front ever since we've been using this tactic this season. so. That's something to look out for, but again, another win. That's two wins in this episode, which is good. We're through to the third qualifying round of the FA Cup, which is good. One of them that I've promised the board. And yeah, so as you can see, things have really picked up since the first episode. That's eight games now I'm beating using the, the plug and play tactic. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to more, hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching.